1995, Lebanon High dressed out in blue jerseys, white pants, white headgear, white numerals, blue trim on the pants and helmet. Bob Dillard, head coach of Lebanon High School, out there with his Blue Devils. Across the way, after winning the toss and electing to receive, Hendersonville dressed out in black headgear, white jerseys, black pants, black numerals with gold trim. Robert Lassiter, L-A-S-S-I-T-E-R, the Sumner County spelling of Lassiter, is the head coach, career record 39 and 52. Dropping into return formation for the commandos, Jake Risha and Matt Case. And to kick it off for Lebanon High School, Kyle Zachary. And once again, our best wishes to J.L. Presley, who is listening tonight, I'm sure, from his hospital bed at University Medical Center. Best wishes to you, J.L., and all your family. Get well and get back with us soon. Well, here with a play-by-play -play call of tonight's regular season home finale is the sports director for FM 99. Here's Clyde Harville. Okay, Tommy, thanks a lot. Good evening, everybody. We hope we have a good ball game for you tonight. Lebanon in desperate need of a win, and Hendersonville likewise. If Lebanon's going to make the playoffs, they've got to win this one. Zachary set to tee it off. Risha and Case are back deep for the commandos. The whistle blows, and this one is underway. Zachary's kick is long and deep, and will go to Risha at the sixth. He packs it to the 10, to the 15, out to the 20. Got a little bit of a hole. Still on his feet, out to the 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50. Drug down from behind. A C came over, and number six took him down from behind is Jeremy Stafford. And they combined to bring him down, but Hendersonville is in Lebanon territory at the 46-yard line with a first and 10 and a big return by Risha, Tommy Bryan. A uh, big return. They ran that sideline wall over near their sideline. He got behind it. Got some good blocking, Terry. Good return. Risha picked it up at the 6, returned it all the way to the 11 and 46. That was good for 48 yards. First down, Hendersonville. Miller back to throw. Wants to throw sideline pattern. Got a man wide open. Drop at the 20. Right in the hands of Chad Vogler coming out of the backfield. And that one was laid right in his hands. And I think it may have been out of bounds when he dropped it. But... Uh, that was right on the money, and he had us beat Tommy on the corner. They were going no huddle, went straight to the line of scrimmage, had the fly pattern called. I give Coach Lassiter credit. Uh, his team comes in one and six. They're just throwing caution to the winds on the first play, and they were going for the home run out there, trying to hit Lefevre deep down the sideline. He was open. Second and ten, Case to the near side, and to the far side, we split Jeff Cundiff. And the handoff is up the middle, not much. Maybe a yard to the 45, not a lot more. Risha on the carry, knows the football inside the Lebanon 45 by the length of the ball. Gained a yard, it'll be third down and nine for the commandos at the Lebanon, call it 45-yard line. Hendersonville will play a lot of different backs. We had the roster scheduled to be the starting fullback. Risha has gotten a lot of carries there in the last couple of weeks. Once again, they're one in six. There's no telling who they could play or what formations they're going to use. This is a football team that really has nothing to lose out there tonight. And we look at the wing T, pure form out of Hendersonville. Man in motion coming to the near side, and Miller's back to throw. Looks got a man open down the middle and overthrows Case down at the 30-yard line, about five yards. The ball was at the 25 when Case was at the 30. And Hendersonville not taking advantage of a great opportunity on a kickoff return. We'll have to punt the football away on a fourth and nine from the Lebanon 45-yard line. Tressler will go back in single safety for the Blue Devils, and he will stand at about the 12, 11-yard line. Backs up a little. And back to do the kicking for is, Ch is John Carmack to kick for the Commandos. They're at the Lebanon 45, fourth down and nine. Carmack will stand at his own 42-yard line. Long snap almost over his head, pulls it down and boots it away. Good kick. Tressler going to take it. Fumbles the football, scooped up by Hendersonville. Touchdown, Case. That won't count. No, they're going to bring it back, but Hendersonville is going to have it at the six-yard line with a first down and goal as it hopped right up in the hands of Case. Terry, what about that punt? Tommy from the Lebanon 45. The ball hits Tressler at the 7. That's 38 yards on the punt. Tressler muffs the punt, and Henderson picks it up. We'll have a first down at the Lebanon 7. You cannot advance a muffed punt 
you drop the punt and it's just your ball wherever you recover it and Hendersonville 38 yard turnover in field position. First and goal from the seven. Miller gonna hand it off to Risha and Risha's still on his feet. Boy, he got hit, but he gets inside the four down to the three yard line, a gain of about four. But Lebanon crossed up on him. Somebody hit him low from the far side and somebody got him high from the near side and they about unjointed Risha down at the three. But it'll be second down and goal in Hendersonville with a grand opportunity to draw first blood on the Blue Devils here tonight. Grisha, not a big kid, 5'9", 150, just a junior. They like him. Lebanon has gone with some bigger people in there. We've got Nelson in there, uh, basically going with that goal line defense. Miller with the call, man in motion to the near side. They give it to Risha, and he don't get anything. Tripping him up was big number 69 for the Blue Devils. He got the first hand on him and then had help. But uh, Kenneth Nelson got a hand around the ankle at the five and he falls forward to about the three. He didn't gain anything. It'll be third down and goal from the Lebanon three. Hendersonville on the Lebanon three after Lebanon has uh, botched uh, a kickoff and they botched uh, a punt return. And Hendersonville is in business. Twice they've been set up here by the Blue Devils to score here in the first period. But Lebanon now trying to hang on and keep them out of the end zone. Case splits out wide to the right. And a man in motion to the near side. They give it to the motion man. He turns trying to get inside. Drop back at the four. Ron C coming up out of the secondary. Puts the hurt on Chad Vogler. As Vogler on the wing to the right came in motion to the near side. And they gave it to him. And he kept trying to look for a block and stringing it out. And C comes up out of the secondary and drops him for a yard loss. It'll be fourth down and goal from the four. Lebanon had gone back to their base defense. Had gotten the big people out gone with the base defense thinking Hendersonville might throw the football. The commandos are going to take a timeout and we'll take one at Hello, I'm Laura Pack, a senior varsity football cheerleader at Lebanon High School. We are here with the First United Methodist staff to thank them for their support and present to them this Blue Devil football souvenir. First Church would like to wish the Blue Devils a successful season. We invite you to our Sunday school and worship services. Come see us at our new Family Life Center opening this fall. Big blue. It's on what part of the scoreboard clock's going out, and anybody want two for one? <laughs> <laughs> well, I understand they have gutted the, the scoreboard this week, that every light you see is new, all the mechanics are new in that scoreboard. Uh, but I, I, I'm like you, Clyde, it's better than a 50 50 bet that something's going to go haywire on that clock tonight. Boy, we've had it all year this year here at Noakes Laster Field. Fourth, well, the ball is actually on the three and a half yard line. And it's going to be fourth down and goal for Hendersonville, and they are going to go for it. Case is split wide to the right. And again, we look at that wing formation and a man in motion to the far side now. And Miller back to throw, stringing it out, fires to try to get it away. And it's intercepted in the end zone by Lebanon. Picking it off for the Blue Devils is Pitt. Nice job by Pitt as Miller forced to roll to his right. Ryan Alds with great pressure. They tried the little throwback pass. We had him double covered. Ron C. and Damon Pitt right on the spot. Damon steps in front for the pickoff. So Lebanon dodges a cannonball here in the early going. And John, down to you. We had the receiver bottled up. We sure did, Tommy. Uh, Ron C. had a good angle on the ball, too. And uh, I tell you, Pitt jumped right in front of him, made the big intercept to save the seven. Lebanon with a first and ten from their own 20. Double wide outs left and right, and Pitt makes the call and gives it to Stafford, and he's got a big hole. 25, Stafford shakes a man, gets to the 30, 31-yard line. Gain of 11 by Stafford for a first down. And on that previous play, Tommy, I didn't see who it was, but there were two Blue Devils pinching Miller, the quarterback, with a huge rush and made him throw that ball when he didn't really want to. Alds was one of them. We got good pressure on the quarterback, and that is some of the best pass defense you can have is a good quarterback rush. And, folks, I'm telling you, we may get a little confidence out of uh, keeping him out of the end zone down there. C to the left, and to the near side is Zachary. Pitt will make the call, and again, they give it to Stafford. Stafford up the middle, crosses the 35, blast out to the 39-yard line and it's a gain of about eight on the play by Stafford and the Blue Devils come out get in some blocking up front and get in some running room for Stafford tonight and uh, if they get Stafford and Griffin a little running room these guys can carry the mail by no question we've got people in the backfield who can really go we don't even need good blocks we just need a stalemate at the line of scrimmage there have been some changes made we go Bain Hicks Clemens Nelson and Alds from tackle to tackle Double wideouts again for Lebanon. For Lebanon, Reeves is in at the fullback spot now, and Griffin, or 
Lebanon going to have, I think, motion in the backfield. So let's, uh, the flags are down and the play is blown dead. No, Terry, you're right. It's offside or encroachment against uh, Hendersonville. So this will be another first down for the Blue Devils. They're second in a row. They've moved now from their own 20 out to the Hendersonville, if this guy can count it off right. 44 and a half yard line. And it's first and 10 Lebanon from their own 44 and a half. Oh, Eagle Eye Stafford picked that one up. Looks like Hendersonville had a man line up in the neutral zone. Well, that's better than backfield in motion on us any day. Double wideouts again, Lebanon. C left, Zachary right, pit underneath. Gonna give it to Stafford. Stafford crosses the 45, blast for a solid five out to the 49, 49 and a half yard line. So Stafford getting the crack in there tonight. And now Griffin gonna come in and Stafford gonna take a rest at the tailback and Griffin will move to tailback and Reeves will remain at the fullback spot. Bain comes out of the football game. Cripps goes in at left tackle. Second and five now for the Blue Devils. Zachary left, C right. Lebanon trying to move into Hendersonville territory for the first time. First time the Blue Devils have had their hands on the ball. Pitt going to give it to Griffin. Griffin met head on as he crosses a 50, got down to the 48-yard line, and then is driven back as Henderson made a good play there. The linebacker came up to meet uh, Griffin and did a good job on him, and that was uh, Matt Blake for Hendersonville. Then he had help. Third down, three for the Blue Devils. Ball at the Hendersonville 48 yard line. Third down, three yards to go, and the Blue Devils need to pick it up and keep this drive alive. It started at the 20 after an interception in the end zone by Adam Pitt for Lebanon. The pitch back to the near side, and here goes Griffin around the corner, far side. 45 40. Griffin run out of bounds down near the 30. They say he stepped out at the 37, but it'll be first down 10 Lebanon. And Griffin really turned on the afterburners around that corner. He got on the corner in a hurry, Clyde. Lebanon running the toss sweep. We were able to get him hemmed up inside and let Griff get outside with his good speed. Hendersonville on the year has given up 1,800 yards rushing. Look for us to try to run the football at him tonight. And I said Adam Pitt is Damon Pitt on that uh, interception down there in the end zone. Adam is a younger brother. They give it to Griffin and or give it to Stafford rather and Stafford going to get it down near the 36 gain of about a yard and that's the best defensive play that Hendersonville's had all night as they stop uh, Stafford for about a yard. He moves it down to about the 36 yard line. Well I don't know if he got anything or not. Call it second down and 10 from the 37 as they don't give him any gain. Griffin returns to the game and he will go to tailback. Stafford comes out. You still Folks, he's still wearing that big cast on his right hand, but it, it's more of a foam pad than that heavy plaster job that he had been wearing. Just something to protect that right thumb. Zachary goes left and see real wide to the right. Pitt, pitch back. Here's Griffin, got a little room. Griffin turning it on, 35, trying to get free. Can't get free and is knocked out of bounds as he crosses the 34 down near the 32-yard line. The Hendersonville commando had him around one leg and just would not turn loose and Griffin went one way and then another trying to shake free but finally had to fall out of bounds at the 32 where it will be third down and four after a six yard gain by Griffin. Griffin on the season averaging 7.1 yards per carry 71 carries 506 yards he's Lebanon's leading ground gainer. Damon Pitt at the controls. Reeves is the fullback. Griffin is the tailback. Pitt will make the call. And a quick opener to Reeves. Got some room. Reeves pulls up the middle. Crosses the 30. Down over the 28. Over the 26. Almost made. I thought he made the 25, but I don't think they're going to give it to him. They're going to spot it at, well, almost the 25. And he gets the first down.